this is your boy Eddie and we are here for a new grand season of 2014 NFL football and I am going to be your host for today for Eddie's Picks. Here are the games for this week. Let's take a look at them. For the first game, the opener. Seattle and Green Bay, rematch of the touch reception game a couple of seasons ago that some of you might remember. For that game, of course, we have the defending Super Bowl champions, the Seattle Seahawks, taking on the Green Bay Packers. Green Bay, Aaron Rodgers already poised for another MVP caliber season with a great, tremendous offense and a defense led by none other than number 52, Clay Matthews. I look at this game, it's going to come down to the defenses. Which one can step up? Which one is actually going to come through in the clutch? Still too, many, uh, too much talent on the Seattle defense. I'm going to take Seattle at home. Going forward to Sunday, first game, Buffalo and Chicago. Jay Cutler, Brandon Marshall, Matt Forte, too much firepower on the Chicago offense. Buffalo virtually has no defense whatsoever, although E.J. Manuel, Robert Woods, and Sammy Watkins are definitely going to put up some points on the board. I still don't think that it's going to be too much or enough to actually catch up with Chicago, especially when they're at home. So I'm going to take Chicago for this week. Next game up is Tennessee and Kansas City. Alex Smith just got a brand new contract. He's going to be poised to live up to that contract. He is going to be missing Dwayne Bowe for this, uh, for this game for the first week. You still have to depend on the running game of Jamal Charles. Tennessee still an up-and-coming team, still lower-tier talent. So I'm still going to go with Kansas City, especially being the fact that they're going to be at home. Uh, next game up is going to be in Philly, taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Jacksonville just coming up with Blake Bortles, the rookie quarterback, and then Philadelphia with Nick Foles and uh, LaShawn McCoy coming up with or topping up a really great regular season last season, um, putting up astounding numbers. So I still expect Philadelphia, with all their talent and everything, to still kick into this season and going to cap it off with a win in week one. Going to the next side of the board, we got the New Orleans Saints going to Atlanta and facing the Falcons. This is an interesting one because we don't know what we're going to get with Matt Ryan this season, if it's going to be last year Matt Ryan or if it's going to be uh, Matt Ryan from two seasons ago when they actually went to the NFC Championship. But no Tony Gonzalez, but you still get Roddy White and Julio Jones back for the beginning of the season. Defense is still kind of iffy. New Orleans just got Jerry's Bird on defense. They did have to let go of uh, some people in the secondary, but unfortunately their defense is still too much for Atlanta, especially that offense as well. With Jimmy Graham, Andrew Brees, you meet the Saints on the road. Next game between the Raiders and the Jets. Both teams didn't have that great season last year, but I look at Oakland and see their talent that they had uh, acquired in the draft, and also via free agency compared to what New York did. New York still has a really good defense and actually just landed uh, both Michael Vick and also Eric Decker to help out that offense. We still don't know who's going to be playing as a full for sure starter for the season, but for this week, I still expect them to go with the younger talent in Geno Smith. So for that and the fact that they're going to be at home, I still think that the Jets are going to be a little too good for Oakland, even though they still have the good talent of Derek Carr and Maurice Jones-Drew. Next game on the board, St. Louis and Minnesota. St. Louis, uh, unfortunately, had to let go of Michael Sam. It's a sad story, but hey, at least hopefully he can actually land a job in the NFL. Is a tremendous talent at defensive end. Um, you've got a really good St. Louis defense, especially with the return of James Laurinaitis coming up to uh, help the rest of the, of, the, of the defense there. And so now with uh, Minnesota. Minnesota just landed uh, one of the best defensive ends in free agency that was available, as well as uh, getting some offensive weapons for Mr. Adrian Peterson. This is a tough one because of the fact that St. Louis just lost their quarterback for the season, so they're done. 
in that to, in that sense, I think that now Minnesota has the advantage and is going to end up winning this game on the road. Next game, Cincinnati versus Baltimore. That uh, one is going to be a little bit of a tough divisional matchup, but for that one, I still think that Cincinnati's offense is going to be a little bit too much for Baltimore to handle. Next one up between Cleveland and Pittsburgh. We all know that Johnny Manziel, unfortunately, is not going to be playing this game. It's going to be with Brian Hoyer, the former Patriots backup quarterback. And taking on Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh still has some age, but is starting to uh, get some youth added into their to their team and trying to mix it in there. So look into seeing a couple of players that you might not have heard of, but still that are going to be good, especially for fantasy. So for this game, I'm still going to go with Pittsburgh, especially them being at home. Uh, Washington and Houston, that's going to be an interesting one because of the fact that Houston owning the first pick with Jadavian Clowney and now with the newly signed J.J. Watt for another six years. That's going to be a tremendous uh, talent. RG3 is still coming back. We still don't know what we're going to get from him, but I don't think that he's going to be able to actually fend off both threats from both sides of the field. I, I'm going to take Houston in their first uh, in their first game of the season. Carolina and Tampa Bay, another interesting matchup. I still think that Cam Newton is going to be a little bit too much for that Tampa Bay defense, so give me Carolina on the road. San Francisco and Dallas. Unfortunately, Dallas still has a good defense or a good offense, but unfortunately, their defense suffered too many losses and too many injuries through the offseason and right now in the preseason. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to take San Francisco on the road. Going uh, to later on that Sunday, New England, Miami. New England going down to Miami and actually um, finally getting to see a little bit of Darrell Revis. And getting to show off finally that what how good that defense is going to look now and the new offense for Tom Brady. So I still expect that even though Miami uh, signed a couple of players, I still think that New England's going to come out on top and begin the season on the right foot. For the summit for the Sunday night football game on NBC, you're going to see the Indianapolis Colts taking on the Denver Broncos in Denver. Um, we just actually heard that Wes Walker actually was suspended for the first four games of the season, so you're going to look at him not being in that game. That and the fact that uh, you already lost Eric Decker as well, that's two big hits to the juggernaut that used to be Denver, although you still have both Jamarius and uh, the tight end Thomas. You still have a little bit of too much talent for Indianapolis to cover, but at the same time, Andrew Luck still comes through. I'm going to take Indianapolis. Indianapolis and do the upset pick for this week. And for the Monday night games, we have the New York Giants going to Detroit and um, opening the season there. I think Detroit has actually made a couple of good moves to actually help both Matthew Stafford and Calvin Johnson. So I still think that Detroit is going to be a lot better than New York this season. So give me Detroit for the first game of the week. And then uh, the last game this week is going to be San Diego going to Arizona. Arizona is actually going to retire Kurt Warner's uh, jersey, number 13, for their team for this game at halftime. That's going to be an interesting one uh, in terms of motivation for the Cardinals. I think their team is a lot more talented than San Diego, but still San Diego is a threat at any point. Ryan Matthews, we don't know where we're going to get. Phillip Rivers, same thing. Antonio Gates, a lot of talent in San Diego, but I still think that Arizona defense is going to be a lot to worry about, especially that offense as well. So in this game, let me take the Cardinals. So for this week, these are my picks. Comment down below. Let me know what you think as well. Follow me up on YouTube. And later on, we're going to get a Twitter established and a Facebook page. This has been Eddie's Picks for the segment of the first week of the NFL. Thank you for watching.